Are you ready to time travel to the past? Are you ready to find yourself in the late 1950s to early 1960s? Well, then come with me to the world of the GMARC reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder and find yourself in yesteryear. With this vacuum tube reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder made by GMARC with no model number. This machine uses 5-inch reels, two vacuum tubes, and AC bias recording circuitry. It has two speeds, 7 and 1 half IPS, and 3 and 3 fourths inches per second. This recording is at 7 and 1 half inches per second. The level is set up all the way to give a little bit of a distortion, per se, to give it more of a vintage sound. But let's turn it down some so we don't sound as distorted. Let's see how this sounds with the sound turned down. And now, set the speed to 3 and 3 fourths inches per second. We are now recording at 3 and 3 fourths inches per second on the GMARC reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. Um, this machine uses a crystal microphone. And now I'll set the level up all the way again for a 1950s sound. Okay, I'll have the level set up all the way again for a very vintage sound. Hello and welcome as the 1950s voice man with the 1950s sound. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so there's my intro for the video. Um, it's a uh, machine I got at an estate sale a few weeks ago. And uh, the uh, camera does not do this justice because this knob has a nice red color to it, but it looks pink on the video. Um, let's give some close up shots. Rewind and wind. It's Jim Mark. Never heard of that brand. Um, volume and tone. The interesting thing is the tone is at maximum whenever it's all the way counterclockwise. You turn down the tone by turning it clockwise. Um, some more shots. You can see metal grill along there to help exhaust heat from the tubes. Yes. It uses 5 inch reels max. Over here we have the speed control. Interestingly enough, it is um, you push it down for 7 and 1 halves and pull it up for 3 and 3 fourths. It uses a belt jump system. It's running with the original belt, but it is a little loose, so it got some flutter in the audio. Uses, I think, an, yeah, it uses an oval speaker in the front, a long ways oval speaker, to record you actually push the knob down and put it into the play position. I'll show recording. Here is the original microphone with the GM on it and there are cord marks on the back. As you can see, here's a better shot of that microphone. So we simply plug in the RCA jack I think this is an American made machine. It's got no model though. I mean, it's a very plain machine. And now let's make a recording. Let's put it back to seven and one half. And some to go down like that. And start. We are now running a recording and uh, look at the meter right here. I'll zoom in. And here is the blurry level meter. Okay, it does not have anything saying whether it's normal or over, it just flickers to the sound. This is manual level control, of course. And rewind. Right here, I'll zoom in, and here is the blurry level meter. Okay, it does not have anything saying whether it's normal. Do I wind and rewind? I 
recorded some music onto this recorder. This is that 7 and one half IPS. And at 3 3 fourths IPS I have recorded the same song. Automat by Droid. It's on my favorites on my YouTube channel. Obviously, the machine is equalized for 7 1 half. The three three four sound quality is very muffled. The head cover, though, the head cover is permanently attached, I think, to this metal plate. Heard some of Album and the Chickmunks, in other words, playing a uh, recording I was recording at 3 and 3 fourths at 7 and halfs. And here's the back or the bottom of the machine. Slide that back, and you can stick the cord and microphone inside there. It's got a vent as well. This, this recorder, I mean this video is unedited, it's direct upload, if you saw my last video called um, a story about computer stupidity, then you would know why. This re recorder didn't work when I got it, the motor was froze up from uh, lubrication that had dried up and also dried up lubrication also meant that this button wouldn't push down for record you know there are parts that needed some work to get it moving again but I got it moving again and I replaced a belt that ran the take up drive friction clutch mechanism and now the machine is in working condition the original capacitors are still working on this and the original tubes are still working so the electronics were fine on this model and as you can see on the top cover, right there, it says Jimark. White on the inside, gray on the outside, and considerably dusty. I hope you enjoyed the video of this Jimark reel to reel tape recorder. One of the good things about making videos on direct upload is the ease of it. I hope it pro I hope it uh you know works. I hope it publishes properly. Uh see 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 you later. Hate stuttering.